look at this. This place has so many kayaks. This is incredible. Boom. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, Dave, what's up, man? Hey, man. You got something new for me? <sighs> well, we've gone over our boats today. Did you see this, this used beast I have here for sale today? What? What is this, man? Is this a kayak? It's not really a kayak. This is called a solo skiff. And this particular one is used. Um, I took it in on a trade. I can't, I don't have new ones right now available, but it's a really cool little, it's not really a kayak. It's a boat. I would say it's a boat. It's a boat. But it's got a, it's like 14 feet long. It's got a six horsepower mercury motor on the back of it. But the gentleman that had this, like, he added a bunch of accessories. Normally, you wouldn't get all of this stuff on a solo skiff. Like, this is a Hobie, Hobie part right here. This is a Hobie H-bar for standing up. He put the Hobie H-bar on it. Yeah, it's got quick releases, too. You can quick release that. He added these H-rails on the side. These are Hobie products. He added this Lowrance DI fish finder, which is still hooked up. We have the battery down inside. He put the battery... You get the battery all like down inside there. It's all ready to go. You know what happens when we talk about batteries, right? <laughs> Amp Outdoors, lithium battery. They made this <laughs> video possible, guys. Use doors. coupon code Alias5 to save you 5%. That's what's up, man. You need a battery. If you kayak fish, you need a battery. <laughs> and get the best. Yeah. But the attention to detail, like this guy probably spent three years Getting this kayak. He might have. He, put, kayak he put things on this I didn't even really know. Like this mount here, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's one direction. I'm not sure who builds this one, but here's the power pole. And that's like a, port a portable mount with some sort of a brake right here. Like a manual one. Yeah, yeah, it's a manual. He put a C deck on it. He added the, like little things, like he added this hatch. This doesn't come on a solo skiff. He added that hatch. He put the C deck on there. Um. Even a Hobie pocket on the side. He got the, you know, little Hobie pockets here. So I see a lot of Hobie stuff. What did, did he get at the end? Uh, Outback. He actually traded this in for a new 2023 Hobie Outback. And the reason he did is because his friends have the Outbacks, and they were fishing together, and they, were, they said, no, man, we don't want the, you to take the motor. It scares the fish. So whatever. <laughs> he says, I just want to get an Outback with my friends. So when the new ones came in, he, he got a new uh, new Outback. So guys, will you make the train? Like I wouldn't. This thing is decked out. Uh, I would just put a trolling motor in the front with a bracket here and then just use the trolling motor and fish with my friends. And when I want to leave them behind, I just turn well, the outboard on. But he also didn't want to take a trailer anymore because he got a little truck and he said, I want to put it in. I don't want to have to pull the trailer because this thing, you need a trailer with it. You're not going to just throw this in the back of the truck, especially with everything that's on it. He even added, a boondock. I think I think we got to the root of the problem. What? He wanted to go fishing with his friends. His friends are launching anywhere. Uh -huh. He needs to go to the ramp. Yeah. So he couldn't actually fish with them. He could meet them somewhere. So yeah. that's the problem. It's yeah. not the motor, because he could have just used a trolling motor. It's the fact that he has to launch through ramps. As far as the, the, the price, I have this, I'm selling this whole package for $3,900. It's a really good deal. I listed everything that's on it, but it's a 2017, so it's not brand new, but it was, he kept it clean. Anybody who does this amount of work to something is going to keep it nice, but it's a 2017 hull and a 2017 motor. He even put the, the, the this, this is an aluminum bracket, the beef, beefed up motor. Solo skip people will know what that is. It's, it's made polyethylene plastic rotor molded, just, just oh. like the kayak, just like the Hobie. So it's really tough. But it's very solid. because It's, it's like... solid. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So it's not something I have every day. Look at this seat. This is a great seat, 360 seat. Very comfy. Yeah. It's not something I have every day, but it's something I have today. What's today's date? The Jan January 28th? Hey, 28th Saturday. Today's 28th. Well, it's, it's here today. If, mm -hmm. if someone watches this video in the next week, they could call me. It may yeah. still be here. It's probably going to be gone. At Action Water Sports in <laughs> Auburndale, Florida. No, I haven't advertised it. I had people call me about solo skiffs because they've been out of production for like a year. They're, they're coming back into production, but they've been hard to get. Yeah. But I haven't advertised it. I just put it in the shop here for some lucky person who comes in. <laughs> this is a boat that will be worth getting, man, because it's, it's <laughs> like it has everything. Like you got your standing bar, you got your fish finder. All the connections are already done. Like seriously, this is turnkey. 
This is really nice. And then you got a nice six horsepower outboard, gas tank. You got the wheels if you want to do that. Wow. So this is really ready to go. And the trailer. See, when, when you get a little older and you don't want to be uh, pushing your kayaks and you want to go a little faster, this is nice. Like, look at this. The clips for the anchor pole system right there. You got eight rails. Anchor pole is like a hundred dollars just for this. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's like a hundred dollar power pole. Yeah, and then you got the uh, boondocks, and it's it's like it has a a plate, so it doesn't destroy the boat. He put an SUP paddle so he can stand up and just go. Exactly, because his kayak friends were like telling him to just turn take the engine off. SUP up. paddle, but this is a good idea. This he puts he put mounts on here and. H-rail mounts. And look at the cabling already, the, the transducer cable. Arm, a transducer arm to drop in. Seriously, this dude spent so much time and just gave it up like that because his friends were afraid of the motor. Look at price point of the brand new Hobie is thirty seven. More money than this. Well, this is 3900 so it's pretty close in price. I wouldn't make the trade. Heck no. Some, you want it, but some people do. Yeah, because they... nothing like a shiny brand new Hobie Outback mm. sitting in the back of your truck. Nothing like it. No, so, so here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. That guy is going to use the Outback for two days. Then he's going to try to put a motor on it. And then he's going to come back and buy a solo No, he's skip. not putting a motor. We, he, he talked about it. His friends don't have motors. He, he needs better friends. <laughs> yeah, he needs better friends. That, that, that's it. That's the end of the story. Dude, if you're watching this video, you need better friends. <laughs> see, this is a kayak. You see this here? Now, these already have the motors set up. This is my autopilot. You did reviews on the autopilots. Before, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this now you have one. I right? have one. Yeah, yeah, you got one there. Yeah. I actually have both you know of them. You know everything about this boat. Yes, yeah, I have 120. I guess the only update is that uh, this kill switch. The kill switch. Um, from the original one, but that has been out for a while now. And I saw an, I saw another little update. I forgot what it was. This is both Mine. colors that they offer. <laughs> yeah. You get two choices. <laughs> so mine is this color. It's exactly this one. This is the boat that I have. And I, I used the hell out of it, and it's still running well. The only thing is that I'm going to change the the, um, the kill switch. That's it. Everything else is being running well. And guess what? I have an amp outdoor lithium battery in there. Amp outdoors lithium battery. Goes here in the box. Save 5% use Cooper Coalice 5, and that is the best battery you can get. Yeah. Still alive. I have many of them, and all of them are alive. So, yeah, I still don't, like. What would be, you tell me, though, what is the best battery to get for one of these autopilots? Oh, oh man. Which okay, one? so I think. The 100 amp hours is the perfect one. 100 amp hours. Yes. Is what you're suggesting. Because I'm not a battery expert. I I gotta admit I'm not a battery expert. It's I know that the hours, batteries though. are good. So 100 amp hour will fit in here. How long do you think that would make it run? Non-stop maximum speed, outdoors, open water condition is good for 13 miles. 13 miles non-stop. Non-stop maximum speed. But nobody's gonna run non-stop 13 miles. Exactly. So they're not going to the Bahamas. Translation. <laughs> You could fish three days out of that battery. Yeah. Without having to recharge. And if you go offshore, I mean, you know the, the wrench already, just take a second battery with you, just in case, and you'll never run out of power. I mean, 24 miles, what is it, 26 miles? 26 miles on a kayak, that's days on the water, basically. Yeah, nobody goes that far. Nobody, yeah. Not around here. No, exactly. You don't go 20 miles. The only thing, about taking this boat offshore is that if, if you hit a heavy, heavy duty uh, current, like two or three miles an hour, yeah, that could be a problem. But, you know. Some places you go 100 yards and then you start fishing, that's it. Yeah. From the, sh from the where you launch, 100 yards out, you're fishing. You or know, even less than that. You know what they need to do? They just put an outboard here. I'm gonna put an electric motor. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm puzzled. Like, why did that guy give that up so he could Kaya fish with his friends, like, I mean. Different stroke, he had it, well he had it since 2017, he bought it new. Yeah, maybe, so he had oh, it so he had it for a while, he just, uh, he just done with it. Yeah, yeah. Because and if he, he was my he friend, I'm fishing on a motorized kayak. Yeah. So. Like I'm the one making the noise. <laughs> and guess well, what? Well, it's, it's, it's there, because there's somebody <laughs> out there, I don't know who it is, somebody out there has been dreaming of getting a solo skiff. They're dreaming of their, their dream boat, and that's it. That's it. It's sitting there. We don't know who it is yet, but somebody's gonna come go, go, I've been looking for one of those, and I've been looking for one, and so they're coming. To get, they're gonna get it. So here's the thing. Um, I went fishing the other day. I didn't catch a fish when the motor was off. 
I caught all my fish when the motor when was, was running. running. Yeah. Huh. Well, and I fish for hours. Doesn't necessarily scare all the fish. Then. It does well, not. Well, when you're trolling. How does the bass professional anglers fish? Now they 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 have electric motors. They don't. They're not catching fish. With exactly. The motors running. So you have that trolling motor doing all the job. So you just put one in the front over there, and you're ready to go. Yeah. 